Welcome to Nana's Nursery. I'm Katarina. I'm Eliana. And I'm Adelaide. And today we'll be teaching you how to make embellishments to decorate your bonnet for the Dickens Fair. The things that you'll need are lace or ribbon or scraps of fabric, scissors, a thread, and a needle. Things that you can have that are optional are a candle, a little decorations, and a hot glue gun. Usually we would use the same color thread to match your lace or ribbon, but today we'll be using black so you can see it better. And then it's easier if you have, um, if you lift your finger and then flatten it out so it's easier to fit through your needle so you can thread it. And I usually just do it a tiny bit. And then you spread it through. For the lace, we're going to cut it in about uh, 10 inches. This is about 10 inches. And then we're going to cut it with our scissors. Ta -da. So then now that we have our threaded needle, uh, it's also knotted, and our lace, we're going to start sewing. Uh, just some extra tips. You want the knotted side longer than the other side. Otherwise, they're going to get stuck and it's not going to look as nice. And uh, you also want to hold it at the top. Otherwise, it's going to get undone and you don't want that. So when you sew, you want to start um, at least at eighth of an inch off the bottom. Um, but I'm doing it, I think, a little higher because I just want to be extra safe and then I also have a line to go against. Um, now you sew at least three, but uh, you have to sew half an inch in and out. So it looks kind of like this. Like this. And then you pull it through. So notice that when you're done, that these stitch marks are at least one inch apart, or a half an inch apart, sorry. This is technically what it'll look like when you're done. So after you finish stitching, you wanna gather it up, but don't like take it out of the needle, cut the thread out of the needle because you'll need that later. But you gather it up like this. And then you take like the first two and you need to put the needle through once. Well, not just once, but twice. So you go and oop. Since I put it in once, you put it in again, but you don't pull it through the whole way like you did last time. You put it through partially. So it looks like this. So there's this. Then you want to take your needle and you want to tie it. To tie it, you have to take your thread and push, uh, put it through the hole. And then, there. Now, when you open it up, it kind of would look like this. Now what you want to do next is put it together and then sew this. Now, to finish it, you want to whip stitch it, 
So you just go around two closest ends like this. This is kind of what it looks like when it's done. And here you have like stage one complete. Now let's go on to the next step. But here's a tip first. Grab, a, if your ribbon is polyester based, this is this is a hint for you. Grab scissors and cut off the ravel deep bitch. Light a candle and put it by the flame but not on the flame because then it will burn it. That's fine if you do it, but have adult supervision while doing this task. And you're done. So now we've made a lot of different rosettes, different colors, different shapes, different sizes, different patterns and stuff, and we can mix and match them. I think I'll use this one to start, and I'll try this one, but I might want to try another one, like this lace. Mm -hmm. This looks pretty. Well, maybe I want to try this one. Mm -hmm. I think those two go really well together. And maybe I want to try some of these stuff. I don't think that one goes really well with it. So let's try this one. No, but I think I'll actually use this one. I think this is actually a really pretty one. I think this one's great for my bonnet. So you can either sew it or hot glue it. You should have an adult with you in case you burn yourself. Or the adult can do it so you don't burn yourself and that's what it would look like and then you have the other one and you can have one for each side of your bonnet. Now we can make whatever ones we want. Once you master making rosettes, the possibilities are endless. You can decorate a journal, your gown, a cape, a bonnet, or even a gift. The only limit is your creativity. Thank you for coming to Nana's Nursery. We hope you enjoy learning how to make rosettes. See you next time. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye.